Um, you were telling yeah. me during the week uh, about Kmart, and I don't know anything about this. Kmart selling, um, promoting sexuality. Is that in Australia? Yep. Australian uh, Kmart. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Because um, I'll just I'll call her Maria, who's a mum, and this is um. We'll start off with this one. So I, I don't know what the name of the book is, but this is one of the pages. Jump, You'd so jump, jump on, that, on dick. that dick. So what? it's two boys, and then, I don't know, the boyfriend comes over or whatever. And even if it away. wasn't two boys, even if it was a, a two chicks, like, you, yeah. is, is that a children's book? Well, it's... It's in the plus 12 section, apparently. At hey, Kmart. notice the guy's jumper only, and it's in the font of OnlyFans as well. <gasps> oh, I bet you didn't I even didn't, notice didn't know, that. Oh, I didn't even know what the uh, font for OnlyFans is. I've never oh, been on it. No, I, I haven't not either. That, not no. that you have. <laughs> I haven't. I, I honestly haven't. I, I don't waste, I would never waste my money on that. It, Absolutely, there's enough internet porn for free without having to sign up for a <laughs> for a five ten dollar a month bloody or a week or whatever it is to to see some chick hawk her fritter online. I'm yeah. good, but I have seen the the font and I've seen it talked about a lot. It's very much in in um, the culture online culture now. But that's definitely the only fans. Like, why would you have a jumper with only written on it? It's just the only thing that they did was didn't put the fans part. Yeah. So this is um the like she posted it with uh, this to say. She goes, um, "Do I bring that? Up? No. What a surreal moment in time." Kmart, whilst perusing the kids section, looking for an age appropriate book for my GG. What's that? Great, I don't know. Oh, gee, I'm suggested a, following. Yeah, apparently, apparently, all teachers approved. Go woke, what? go to hell. Oh, so it's an oh, that's even worse then, man. Because so it's it's an approved that, book. What's the book it's called? An approved, um, I'll see if I can bring it up in the comments. Um. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, okay. GG, great uh, granddaughter. Ah, uh, great granddaughter. Yep. Um. Oh, it's called Heartstopper. Heartstopper is a great LGBTQ romance and really heartfelt. However, be aware of mutations of self harm, alcohol, eating disorders, and swearing, as it may be triggering to some audiences. All in all, it's really sweet and one of the first books I've read that does fetishize queer men. The representation is great and Alice did an amazing job with this book. However, if you're planning on watching the series on Netflix, there's a fucking Get series on Netflix. lost. No way. The, f the first season is definitely more kid-friendly. If you're looking for an adorable <laughs> love story to read... When you're sad, this would definitely cheer you up. If you're sitting around thinking about penis teen, all day. It says it says teen teen thirteen years old. Oh, age twelve plus. Age twelve plus, it says. What the fuck, man? That's a what the fuck. That's, yeah. That's that's it's it shouldn't be out there, even if it wasn't like I'm not I'm not appalled at the, the <clears throat> same sex um, stuff in it. It's it's yeah. it's fun to make jokes about it, but it's at the end of the day, I'm not appalled by that. I'm appalled by when I was twelve, I was reading goosebump books, and they were about like monsters yes. in in cupboards. I, I, the, yeah, you know, and 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 pony uh, pony club or whatever it was called, that saddle club or whatever was the girls' stuff, and and it it's, it wasn't anything so overtly sexual. Yeah. Good afternoon, Australia from Scotland. Yeah, we're just talking about the uh, books that we've got selling at Kmart here, which you can just see the page that we've got up. Um, 
Uh, yeah, so I, I just see I won't read too much about it, but it's yeah in in her um in the comments that after she posted it on her Facebook profile, um yeah it's the sickos posing as counsellors are conditioning our kids into a lost future, and it, yeah, sex education is one thing, but it should be about self respect and safety. There shouldn't be stories about minors doing it. Education is education, but narrative is another. Kids need to be kids, and kids are by nature in need of education and knowledge before they can be trusted to make huge adult choices like sex. Um, yeah. Not um, to mention now, that there's that, like they mentioned in the book, there was self harm and and all sorts of other things that, and all of that goes hand in hand. It's all, it's almost expected in in that community um self-harm and mm. drugs and 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 mental problems and uh, it's just it's kids don't need to know about it. it it's like a it's it's just part of the indoctrination um i've got I've, now this is um from the same person as well she posted this um I'll, um, <laughs> that's not funny, but um, this is in cotton on. This is cotton on. This is what they're selling. Oh, hang on, let me hide that. Can in, you see in that, what that is? In a G-spot vibrator, curved shape, yep. 10 yep. intensity levels, compact case. So they're selling sex toys in cotton on. Yeah. Is that cotton the, on for uh, kids? Tell me. Yeah, cotton not. on for kids. Yeah, no. For kids. Yep, whoosh, it's called. And this is what she commented. So I kept it. As a parent, I'm done. Seriously, cotton on. You have absolutely stooped to a disgusting low, especially where children come in every day. Upon asking the young girls working there, they've obviously they've answered. They are trying to market to the younger kids. I'll go a step further. You cotton on group how is this not seen as exploiting young teenagers working at your store who are forced to sell to any age child who wants to purchase what is the criteria the age of consent how dare you cotton on group um like did they have to if they wanted to if a young girl wanted to purchase this would she have to show id like i've got no idea like this is something you usually see in a sex shop do you have to? I, I haven't bought a uh, G Spot vibrator um, anytime <laughs> recently. Do do you no, need, do you need to be over oh. a certain age to buy them? Is there is there a um uh, an age check <laughs> when you buy sex toys? I, I honestly don't know. I've got a friend we can ask, um, but yeah. <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> it's. Uh, I I actually can't believe that. That is insane. Like uh, a, a fully fledged vibrator, and then they're they're trying to target younger kids. Hmm. It it's not even legal, surely. Yeah, I I, I don't understand how Victoria. I have two. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> <laughs> What's the name of the book again, Emma? It's Heartbreaker. I'm just going through comments. Um, yeah, yeah, that's way. cool. Yeah, yeah. Huh. I'm sort of. I was on the, I uh, was reading Choose Your Own Adventures as well. I used to love them, except yes. I struggled. I used to struggle because I'd I'd hold my finger in a page because I couldn't I couldn't just choose. I wanted to I wanted to make sure I chose the right direction, so I'd end up with like ten different placeholders trying to make sure I didn't go. And then, but obviously, you can never go backwards. It's very hard. Yeah. Uh, Simon, Simon was at my birthday that you came to. Oh yeah, I remember guy. Simon. Yeah. So was goes, it Simon yeah, that cracked that mad joke last week? I think it was. No, that was the other Simon Appleby. So ah. it was two Simons. Yeah, and both security guys. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, do they come with instructions where to find it? <laughs> <laughs> Some say it doesn't exist. <laughs>